Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video here to talk about productivity, aka getting more done in the same amount of time. And a big tip for this, uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've, I've just finished doing this, and that's batching your tasks. So today, this morning, I wanted to film two new videos for YouTube, two new mixing tutorials that I'm going to share with you. Um, so, you know, there's a bit of a setup process, right? I've got to decide on the topic. I've got to outline the video of what I want to talk about, make sure I hit the key points. I've got to find, you know, the the session that I want to use in Pro Tools to demonstrate it, find the spots, and then make sure I'm ready to film. Uh, turn, turn the light on here, you know, so we have good lighting, make sure the mic is set up, all that stuff. Um, so that takes work. So it takes it takes a little bit of effort and energy to even get ready to hit record on the video in the first place. So if I'm going to record some videos, I want to do as many as I can at one time so that I just set up once and then that way I can just roll and just go quickly. And it's amazing uh, how productive we can be. I've been doing this for, I don't know, I think I started filming an hour and a half ago uh, and I've done three videos already. So that could potentially buy me three weeks where I don't have to make a new video because I can just space those out over time. And you can do this with everything. And the, and the secret is that, you know, every time you have to switch tasks. So if I had to, you know, record a video and then stop and then think, okay, what am I going to do in the next video? Then I've got to brainstorm. I've got to write out the outline or, you know, just my notes. I've got to think of a good title and then I've got to find a session. Then I've got to start recording again. And it's hard to do that flow over and over. I wouldn't be able to do as many in one sitting. Um, but if I've got all that ahead of time, I literally just have my notes beside me. I know exactly where I'm going, what sessions I'm using, what I'm talking about, what the main hook, you know, the main titles are. And then I just rip through it. And like I said, just filmed three videos in about an hour here. <laughs> yeah, I, I set out to do two today and it, those two went so fast. I went ahead and did a bonus one there. So that's why it's so key and useful to batch your tasks, tasks like that. And I do this uh, in music production too. So I try to keep everything the same. You know, a, a obvious, an obvious example that almost everyone does is if you're recording drums, you record drums for the entire album so that, you know, you don't have to take down and, and, and set up a, a kit and mic up a drum kit, you know, 10 times across an entire album. That's kind of obvious. Most people would just do that kind of automatically, naturally. But you can do that um, for anything. And when you think about, you know, your mixing and your editing, you can batch those too. So try to, you know, save all of the editing for kind of one day. Like I would track, always track kind of all the vocals and everything. And then after the band leaves, then I'll do all the vocal editing in depth all in one go before I start mixing rather than just kind of finishing editing for one song, then mix it, then go back to editing, then mixing. Um, you can really just batch it and do it uh, very effectively very efficiently that way. Same same goes with like mix prep and say reamping and stuff. Anything that involves some upfront setup, you want to do the upfront setup first and then apply it to everything you can before you move on to a new thing. And it's not only for time, it's also for your for your brain because it's hard for your brain uh, and your creativity to constantly be switching back and forth between tasks. And that's why in my mixing course, Hardcore Mixing, um, one of the elements of the M3 method is management, aka organization of your sessions and having a template, having a system where everything is set up up front and organized in the way that you prefer first and you batch all that organization and everything first um, so that when you actually dive into you know the deep part of mixing, you're not going back and trying to find tracks. You're not organizing anything. You're not editing anything. You're not moving anything around or importing effects or anything like that. That's already done. So you can stay in the creative flow and not come back out into kind of the mundane organizational uh, type of mindset. So little quick tip about batching your tasks. Think about where you can do this today with something that you're working on now or in the near future. Comment below. Let us know what it is, um, what you've been batching, what you're going to start batching. And hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not on the email list and, or subscribe to this channel, make sure you do both. Just hit the subscribe button here to get more videos like this and more technical mixing and production tutorials. And uh, definitely get on the email list at hardcoremusicstudio.com. I've got a free gift for you there if you want to sign up. All right. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.